Telugu script Telugu, Telugu Lippi translate. Telugu Lippi, an abugida from the Brahmic family of scripts, is used to write the Telugu language, a Dravidian language spoken in the South Indian states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana as well as several other neighbouring states. The Telugu script is also widely used for writing Sanskrit texts and to some extent the Gandhi language. It gained prominence during the Eastern Shalukas also known as Vengi Shalukya era. It shares extensive similarities with the Kannada script, as it has evolved from Kadamba and Bhattaprolu scripts of the Brahmi family. Both Adhikavi Pampa of Kannada and Adhikavi Nanaya of Telugu hail from families native to the Vengi region. <laughs> <laughs> Derivation from the Brahmi script The Brahmi script used by Mauryan kings eventually reached the Krishna River Delta and would give rise to the Bhattaprolu script found on an urn purported to contain Lord Buddha's relics. Buddhism spread to East Asia from the nearby ports of Gantasala and Masulapatnam ancient Mysolos of Ptolemy and Masalia of Peri Plus. The Bhattaprolu Brahmi script evolved to become the Telugu script by 5th century CE The Muslim historian and scholar Al-Biruni referred to both the Telugu language as well as its script as Andri. Topic: <inaudible> Vowels. Telugu uses 18 vowels, each of which has both an independent form and a diacritic form used with consonants to create syllables. The language makes a distinction between short and long vowels. The independent form is used when the vowel occurs at the beginning of a word or syllable, or as a complete syllable in itself example, a, u, o. The diacritic form is added to consonants represented by the dotted circle to form a consonant vowel syllable example, ka, kru, mo, a does not have a diacritic form, because this vowel is already inherent in all of the consonants. The other diacritic vowels are added to consonants to change their pronunciation to that of the vowel. Examples Consonants Other diacritics There are also several other diacritics used in the Telugu script. Mutes the vowel of a consonant, so that only the consonant is pronounced. M and M nasalize the vowels or syllables to which they are attached. H adds a voiceless breath after the vowel or syllable it is attached to. Examples Topic: <laughs> Places of articulation There are five classifications of passive articulations Kanthya, velar Talavya, palatal Murdanya, retroflex, Dantya, dental, Ashtya, labial. Apart from that, other places are combinations of the above five Dantasthya, labia dental, e.g., V, Kantatalavya, e.g., diphthong E, Kantasthya, labial velar, e.g., diphthong O. There are three places of active articulation Jihavamulam, tongue root, for velar, Jihavamadyam, tongue body, for palatal. Jivagram, tip of tongue, for cerebral and dental Adhosta, lower lip, for labial The attempt of articulation of consonants is of two types Baya prayatnam, external effort Spursta, plosive Ashat spursta, approximant Ashat samviarta, fricative Abhyantara prayatnam, internal effort Alpapranam, unaspirated Mahapranam, aspirated Svasa, unvoiced Natam, voiced Articulation of consonants Articulation of consonants is be logical combination of components in the two prayatnams. The below table gives a view upon articulation of consonants. Consonant conjuncts The Telugu script has generally regular conjuncts, with trailing consonants taking a subjoined form, often losing the talakatu the V-shaped headstroke. 
The following table shows all two consonant and one three consonant conjunct, but individual conjuncts may differ between fonts. Topic: <laughs> Consonant plus vowel ligatures. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Numerals. Note. And are used also for 1 64th, 2 64th, 3 64th, 1 1024th, etc. And, and are also used for 1 256th, 2 256th, 3 256th, 1 4096th, etc. Unicode Telugu script was added to the Unicode standard in October, 1991 with the release of version 1.0. The Unicode block for Telugu is U plus OCOO U plus OC7F. In contrast to a syllabic script such as Katakana, where one Unicode code point represents the glyph for one syllable, Telugu combines multiple code points to generate the glyph for one syllable, using complex font rendering rules. iOS character crash bug On February 12, 2018 a bug in the iOS operating system was reported that caused iOS devices to crash if a particular Telugu character was displayed. The character is a combination of the characters ya, nya, a, and the zero-width non-joiner character which looks combined like this. Jainya. An incorrect handling of the zero-width non-joiner separator while combining the characters seems to be the cause of the Telugu bug. Apple confirmed a fix for iOS 11.3 and macOS 10.13.4. See also Telugu Braille